Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I am back today with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Top 5 book couples, so let us do this video. So Top 5 Wednesdays were created by the lovely Ginger Reads Lane, and I'll link her channel as well as the Goodreads group where you can find these topics down below as always. So this week I have chosen 5 literary couples that are 5 of my favorites. So, I will now show them to you guys and let you guys know what my favorite five literary couples are. And also, these are in no particular order because, as always, I hate ranking things and I can't do it because it's impossible to choose. Oh, the internal anguish of trying to rank things. So, number one, I'm going with Locke and Sabetha from the Gentleman Bastards series. You really start to see Locke and Sabetha well, really, pretty much just in book three so far, but I absolutely love their relationship and the dynamic between these two characters. They are perfect for each other, absolutely perfect. They just parallel each other in so many ways, and Sabetha really is good for Locke, I think. And the way, what she brings out in Locke, and the way he is around her, I absolutely adore, and it's incredibly entertaining, and so they just had to be on this top five list. Coming in at number four, I have Princess Buttercup and Wesley from The Princess Bride. If you have read the book or watched the movie, because they're both good, because they're both done by William Goldman, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. They are hilarious. Princess Buttercup can be a bit of a pain, but how can you not love Wesley, especially when they are together and they end up together because it's true love. I mean, this is a tale of high adventure and romance, so how can you not love it? Princess Buttercup and Wesley are the epitome of literary love, I think. Number three, I have Aragorn and Arwen because how can you not love some king and elf romance? They are awesome and perfect for each other. I love the end of the book when they're together. I mean, you know, Aragorn ascends to the throne with Arwen at his side and it is just beautiful, beautifully told. I just, I love it. Oh, you have to include them. How could you not? Coming in at number four, I have Alana and George Cooper from the Song of the Lioness Quartet. They are absolutely perfect together. They are hilarious together. I absolutely love George Cooper. George is a thief and Alana is a knight, and it is a hilarious dynamic, especially in the later books. Not necessarily in the Song of the Lioness Quartet, but in the future quartets, because the same characters are in all of them when they're a lot older, and their role within the kingdom that they live in, and their role and relationship with each other really grows, and to see that dynamic and their humor and their wit with each other is perfect because Alana is sort of the more straight-laced character, I guess you could say. She's a little bit more serious, whereas George is just full of humor and shenanigans and prankness, and I love that about them, and they are just perfect. And for number five, I decided to go with Lizzie and Darcy from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. I actually didn't really know which one to choose because I love all of her couples, so I, tried to, so I decided to go with the more famous of her classics and go with Lizzie and Darcy, primarily because I think Darcy is still one of my favorite favorites of her leading men. I appreciate his sarcasm and I identify with his not liking to socialize and make small talk and things and I just think they're perfect for each other. Their wit and their sarcasm is absolutely perfect and on point and beautiful. So definitely Lizzie and Darcy coming in at number one but not really number one. I just happen to randomly pick up each one. Alright guys, those are my top five favorite literary couples. Let me know down in the comments what your five picks would be. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye! Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am here today with a kind of a discussion storytelling video, if you will. I want to do my reading history. 